What's up, everybody? Um, today's episode is crazy. Um, okay, I agree with Mac as far as Maxi, Spinelli, and Ellie is concerned. I agree with Mac. I think um, I think Maxi had her moment. I think she had too many chances with Spinelli, and that's done with. So I agree with Mac. They should not. I think he should be with Spinelli. I mean, I think Spinelli should be with Ellie now for the moment. And Maxie should focus on being other things. Um, when Mac offered Spinelli a Shirley Temple, I'm like, are you kidding me? He really drinks a Shirley? I could, I, I, I could, I, I could, I could picture Spinelli drinking little girly drinks. I could see that, but in a funny way. It was funny how Mac said that Ellie was just like Spinelli in a quirky kind of way, but less annoying, because I think so sometimes too, but um, it's just how it is, but it was about time to see Sean and Alexis again. It's like I can't even remember the last time I even seen them together, actually. I think the two of them I think their relationship is actually going somewhere in the next few weeks or so, maybe a month or so. I think their relationship is definitely going somewhere. But um, where is it going? I don't know. Who knows? But it's going somewhere. I don't know if it's marriage or whatever, but maybe in the next few months, maybe by 2013, I think their relationship will get a lot stronger than what it is. Um, okay, Trey. Oh. It's about fucking time Joe Scully Jr. is finally dead. Finally. Um, it's about time they got rid of his character. I could not stand his character. In more ways than one. Like, he annoyed the shit out of me. Um, Trey, he can act to a certain level, but the crying and the emotional scene and stuff like that, he wasn't developing any tears. Like, if the guy that raised you your entire life was dead, you're not gonna cry like seriously. He didn't show too much emotion about it, like not real, not real emotion. Like Christina, of course, is a ditz as always. Um, but when Dante was talking to um, Trey about what happened at the pier and everything else. What pisses me off is how naive Trey is about his father. Like his father is a murderer, a kidnapper, he's a, a gangster, all of that. Not a good gangster, but a gangster nonetheless. And he still defends his father, like and still believes Sonny shot his father. Here's the thing, it's impossible that Sonny shot his father. His father Sonny was never even at the fucking warehouse. I mean he was never at the pier to begin with. So how did he shoot your father? Sonny, there was no way Sonny could have got to the pier before the cops and shot Joe Jr. Joe Jr. was gone by the top by the time the cops even got there. Sonny left the apartment right after the cops did. Sonny got to the pier, but Sonny got to the pier after there was cops and all that already there. So there was no way Sonny was there. Um so Trey, seriously. Go play in traffic. Um, when Sonny went to Sam house and stuff like that, my heart dropped when he went in there and told her about Jason and stuff like that. And she ran out and left Sonny with um, the baby and stuff like that. And she called him Uncle Sonny, of course. Um, I will hope that in the next few weeks, next few months, I know... Sam, of course, is going to probably blame Sonny and blame the business and probably blame herself and everything that I, I know she's going to do that. But I hope that she will lean on the quarter mains, you know, Monica specifically and Sonny, maybe, you know, if she ever needs anything or anything like that. I hope she does, you know, lean on Sonny. I know financially she's straight. I know that. But, you know, you know, just they, you know, they're there for her to talk to or babysit or whatever. And I'm sure Sonny is going to keep guards on her, of course, because even though Jason is gone, he still had enemies. So, you know, 
I think I know Sam could take care of herself and stuff like that. But with a baby, you know what I mean? I think the guards would be necessary for the time being. Um, but when she went to the pier and she put on that outfit to go in search of Jason, I was like, see, that's what a real wife does. Let me just say this. I don't want to spend too much on Elizabeth right now because I have to look at that bitch tomorrow. But let me just say this. Elizabeth would never have done what Sam just did on today's episode. Dive in the water to really go look for Jason in the in the, in the uh, harbor. Liz would have never did that. She was just standing on the pier crying and whatever, at, you know, like a little weak link. Sam is a strong ass woman. Like she was emotional, frantic, and she's still dug in that water looking for her damn husband. I'm like, that's what a, that's what a wife do. A good wife, a strong wife, strong minded wife. That's what they do. And when she found the dragon, the thing, I was like, damn. How did she find that? I don't know. But I thought that thing was going with Jason. I'm surprised she found it actually. But I'm glad she did. Um. Michael and Star, when they was with Daniel, with Danny and stuff like that, Star was good with Danny. I was like, it was kind of like a glimpse maybe into the future, what could happen with Michael and Star, you know, if they ever have a baby or whatever. But um, when she was singing to the baby in that last scene and stuff like that, I was like, wow, GH, they bought it today. Maurice Bernard, Kelly Monaco, they bought it today. They bought the emotion. They bought it. I can't wait to see Laura Wright tomorrow and stuff like that. When Sonny tells her about Jason, that's going to be fun. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Um, okay. Lulu. Just because she can't have a kid. Well, she, she can't carry a kid doesn't mean she could never have one. I think, I agree actually, somebody uh, message commented me. Somebody wrote on, on a comment that Maxie may become a surrogate, that she could become a surrogate. I think that's like one of the best options to go because when you deal with surrogates, I think it's best for people to get a surrogate that they know rather than a surrogate that they don't know. Because with a surrogate that you don't know, they might get attached to the baby and try to keep it, even though biologically it's not theirs. And legally, they can't really do that. Um, I doubt Maxie would try to keep the kid. I doubt it. Um, but I think one of the best ways for Lulu and Dante to go is adoption. But if they really want a biological kid, a kid who shares their DNA and stuff like that, then I think surrogate is the best way to go. But if they just want a kid in general, I think adoption may be the right thing for them. Because you know what? Adoption is not all that bad. Um, with adoption, the kid is pretty much yours in every way that counts. Um, I mean, look at when Sam was pregnant with Lila. When Sam was pregnant with Lila, Sonny was the biological father. But Jason still mourned Lila. He still cared about Lila, loved Lila as if Lila was his biological child, like that was his own daughter. So he considers Lila to this day to actually be his child, too. So technically, him and Sam both lost Lila. Lila was technically his daughter, too. So um, I, I don't know. I think adoption is the way to go. But if they want to do the surrogate thing, I wouldn't be mad at that either. But um I just wouldn't listen to what that doctor told her, though, because plenty of doctors have told Sam she wasn't never going to have a kid again. Look what happened. She had Danny. Doctors told Carly that she may not get pregnant again. Jocelyn's here. So I wouldn't believe all that guy, though. But it is what it is. Um. Oh, yeah, I want to show y'all something before I continue this video. Vote for Obama. Vote for Obama. All you smart people out there. Vote for Obama. Mitt Romney, piece of trash. Anyway. Um, when they were at the bar, Lulu and um, Maxie, when they were at the bar and stuff like that, and Maxie was going over there to talk to Ellie and Spinelli, 
and Spinelli got up and hugged Ellie. That shit had me rolling. I was like, wow. She got up and hugged Ellie, um, Maxie, and Maxie looked like she was trying to shrug her, shrug her off and stuff like that. I was like, okay. Um, but I think Maxie would probably be a surrogate for Lulu just to get Spinelli's attention because I'm sure it's going to get her the attention. I, I read on a spoiler that Ellie wants to be roommates with Maxie. We'll see how well that go. Um, now, I know a lot of people were pissed that Steve Burton left and they don't know what's going to happen with Sean Keenan's character. But here's the thing. I know people saying that this is the end and stuff like that. I don't believe in that. The end. You know how people say all good things come to an end? I don't believe that nonsense. It's just a new chapter. It's a new beginning for Steve Burton. It's a new beginning for General Hospital. Maybe not a good one, but it's a new one. And um, you got to expect that not all of your favorite characters are going to stay. Like tomorrow, Maurice Bernard could leave the show tomorrow. Sonny could be off the show in a heartbeat. Laura Wright, Carly could be gone. She, Carly could hop on a jet, take Jocelyn and go be with Jax for good. Things like that happen. It's sad, but it happens. I'm just saying. Even though none of that is going to happen, I'm just saying. It may happen. It could happen, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. I doubt it. Um, but anyway, I feel I, I feel real bad for Dante and Lulu, but I think they shouldn't feel bad because there's options. You know, just because she can't carry a child, that's not saying that you can never have a kid. That's not the case with them. There's options. I mean, like, I know I keep saying this in other videos and stuff like that, but look at this. Oh, God. Sonny adopted Michael years ago. Until this day, he still treats Michael like he would treat any of his other children. Adoption is not so bad. So, I'm just saying that. Um, anyway, I hope everybody have a great day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. The showdown. Carly going to find out about Jason. I'm a little weary about it because I know she's going to be hysterical. Um, see y'all tomorrow.